Well, what's this here? Huh. Serenity, but something's different. Is that a 685 threaded, uh, uh, threaded smoothbore barrel? Why, yes, Daniel, it is. Wow, freaking cool. I bet that comes to the exact end of the factory assembly on one that has a factory handguard, don't it? Why, yes, Daniel, of course it does. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> will it do anything? <laughs> Why, yes, Daniel, of course it will. <laughs> So we got some BK ammo in here. This is the first, this is, we, we designed this ammo for this barrel because we knew it was coming out, but this is the first time this ammo has ever been shot in the barrel that it was designed for. Well, definitely cycles. <laughs> Those are some thick, 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 thick cinder blocks. If it don't break them, I ain't gonna be surprised. Because, <laughs> like, this is the same one that broke that one, and for some reason, one of the three was way thinner. I'll tell you what, though, I don't give up very easily. Oh, actually, wait a minute, I think it is cracked. Get it on the right one. They'd split it, but you know. <laughs> there you go. Let's go with the other side. <laughs> nice. Oh, I had two more in No, I did. That was a magazine failure there. <laughs> that one never made it into the chamber. That's the first one I've had to do that. I've only had one of these jams. I'm not kidding. That kind of blows my mind. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually shoot the the side over there with the leshy just cause uh you know yeah just cause all right and the, the reason i'm doing this and i probably should put the other two videos together i i was shooting um i was shooting serenity at uh at a block um with some of the new bk ammo and uh i shot uh i shot the uh, 30 caliber leshy at the same block and I was actually really, really surprised at how much uh, how much difference there was not. <laughs> like I, I expected, because the leshy went through wood like crazy, but um, I expected the leshy to do more than it did against the cinder block. So, I'm being a, I'm being a little more surgical about this, but. I'm low. I'm, that's why I'm having to, what you're hearing is what you're hearing is because I'm low on air. I'm flicking this and releasing that, letting my little witchy wicky turn there. So, all right. You know, I tell you what. The one, the one beside it there that's not been damaged at all. Let's see here. Just see. I mean, that's like yeah. That's crazy. So. Well, here look, let's let's take this uh, let's take this mock suppressor off. I'm not gonna. They, these come with a thread protector. They've got metal detents like the factory barrels and everything. So, uh, but they're six eight five smooth bore. Um, but I'm gonna. 
Take that off and yeah. the length most people would be using them at anyway. All right, this is more BK ammo. And that's cracked. <laughs> Those are some tough blocks there. All right, I'll tell you what. All right, so. I went ahead and ga gas to let you up a little bit here. So def definitely, definitely cracked her good with that. That was my bad there. Well, you gotta make sure you close the thing all the way. But I'm, uh, I'm actually I must have some debris or something. Something that I'm not, uh, I'm not cycling very smooth. I can feel it. There's something in the, uh, something in it not cycling smooth. You have to definitely keep these things very smooth, very clean. You should keep any of your, you know, weapons and stuff clean. But these are especially finicky. Huh. Well. I'm putting them all pretty much, you know, because I know if I spread them out, it's not going to work. But, but, I mean, I guess the point is to do it like the BKS. So. Well, well I, I, I guess if we look at it like that, the BKS cracked the cinder block with 10 shots and the, the 30 cal Leshy at 85 joules a, a shot didn't at uh, 8 shots. So... It's crazy. He did take it to the tenth shot. That's that's nuts. All right. Well, anyway, I'm not gonna tell you what we learned if we learned anything. We, I, I think I think that we learned if you're a cinder block, you don't want to be shot with the six eight five smooth bore barrel combo with the BK uh, new ammo at like you know ten to thirteen grams. Those I think I, I think I was using maybe thirteens on those. 11s or 13s but anyway if you're a cinder block you probably don't want to be shot with that um and if you're wood you probably don't want to be shot with the leshy so there you go <laughs> <laughs> so the barrel i'm talking about just like came out uh we don't make them they're professionally made by people that like you know make barrels for a living not you know me and charles in our garages but but we did have a uh, design input but uh they're they're really wicked uh they're 12 inches long threaded tip 685 smooth bore metal detents function ev in every way like the factory barrel except for it's touch shorter tighter bore no uh no uh, rifling to lose power around because uh, face it people lead ammo conforms to the rifling in, in a firearm but uh this stuff does not so if you have rifling don't get me wrong i still use rifle barrel some but if you're if you're a jewel chaser then you know rifling is not what you're going to want um now the thing the bk ammo uh like i say i've been saying you know it, it's specifically designed for this barrel that's uh that's released um it has directional fins so that it can be shot in that smooth bore barrel so you can still use your the barrel works great for ball ammo but then you know you can uh, the the ammo that we designed for it works just as perfect as if you were shooting you know regular shape stuff through a rifled barrel because we've rifled the freaking fins son <laughs> this ammo is wicked like it's wicked like you have no idea like the fact that 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 i've got shaped ammo that i can shoot rapid fire through v i mean we're just touching you know we're just doing vks's right now and really worrying about it but but i've it's down in the vks's <laughs> and apparently fine in the uh this new barrel which i knew if it'd work in a power barrel it'd work fine in the uh or a power barrel or a factory barrel it's going to work fine in this new barrel it's out but um I wasn't worried about that at all as far as, uh, as cycling goes, but uh, yeah, the fact that it's yeah, it's cycling and everything, so everything VKS, so good except Grimberg barrels, you can't put them in those. 
they've got their ball only, but which is ironic since they make HP 68s. But anyway, <laughs> I promise these are more accurate than HP 68s. I will, I will promise you that. Promise you that. These are very, very accurate rounds. Let's find out more about them soon. <laughs>